Liz, uh, she said she was going to go in June and now we've actually got a formal resignation letter. What else does it say? Uh, yes, well, we're just reading through it at the moment, but it certainly, uh, she doesn't pull her punches when it comes to Rishi Sunak. And uh, quite clearly, uh, the issue with the Prime Minister is absolutely at the heart of why she said uh, back in June that she was going to stand down. And she has um, uh, today accused him of running a zombie government. Uh, she calls it a parliament where nothing meaningful has happened. What exactly, she says to him, uh, have you done or have you achieved? You hold the office of Prime Minister, unelected, without a single vote, not even from your own MPs. You have no mandate from the people and the government is adrift. You have squandered the goodwill of the nation and for what? So not uh, holding back there. Of course, if you remember, Nadine Dorries, uh, she's the MP for mid Bedfordshire. She really rose to prominence uh, during Boris Johnson's premiership. She uh, served in his cabinet, but she was a real uh, Boris Johnson loyalist to the end. And of course, uh, uh, during uh, uh, after Boris Johnson had left office, she was said to, to be being lined up by him uh, as one of his close allies for a peerage. In the end, that peerage was blocked. Now, we don't know exactly what happened behind the scenes. She accused at the time uh, the current Prime Minister, Rishi Sunak, of blocking her from entering the House of Lords. Uh, she's been very angry about that ever since. And, of course, uh, she did, when she stood down, uh, say that she would resign with immediate effect. But she has made Rishi Sunak's life much more difficult by, by carrying on uh, for quite a long time after she said that and raising many questions about why she is still sitting uh, as a Conservative MP, why she's still taking the salary of an MP without four formally submitting her resignation. Well, that has changed uh, today. There has been a lot of pressure, I think it's fair to say, mounting under Dean Dorries over the past uh, few weeks, certainly, especially from her constituents, many of whom say they haven't seen her uh, for a long time. But there you go. We've been waiting for it for a long time. Nadine Dorries has finally formally resigned today.